Venezuelans waited nervously for the results of Sunday's presidential election, which could overturn 25 years of single-party control, even though some polling were open more than three hours after the deadline. In pursuing a third term, President Nicolas Maduro faced his most difficult battle yet from the unlikeliest of opponents, Edmundo González, a retired diplomat who was unknown to voters before being selected in April as a last-minute replacement for opposition leader Maria Corina Machado. Opposition leaders were already celebrating González's huge victory, both online and outside a few election places. Their hopes were fueled by alleged exit polls that showed González winning by a large majority. Exit polls are not permitted under Venezuelan law. I'm so happy, exclaimed Merlin Fernandez, a 31-year-old bank employee, as a spokesman from the opposition campaign walked out of one voting site in a working-class district of Caracas to reveal figures showing González had more than quadrupled Maduro's vote total. Dozens of people nearby erupted in an impromptu performance of the national anthem. This is the path toward a new Venezuela, Fernandez said, fighting back tears. We are all tired of this yoke. However, Maduro backers showed no indications of giving up. We can't give results, but we can show face, a cheerful Jorge Rodriguez, Maduro's campaign coordinator, told a press conference. Polls were due to close at 6 p.m., but more than three hours later, some voting stations in Caracas remained open, and officials were mute. The opposition urged the National Electoral Council to begin counting ballots. This is the decisive moment, Machado told reporters at their campaign headquarters, accompanied by Gonzalez. Machado was careful not to declare victory before authorities announced the results, but she said she had already acquired copies of some official voting counts, which showed a record turnout, just what the opposition needed to defeat Maduro's well-oiled election machine.